All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this McFarlane figure. And this is Batman, the um, Detective Comics number 27 version of Batman. So there's the box. And on the back, it has a cover of the Detective Comics 27. So let's get into it. All right, so here we have Batman outside of packaging. And as far as accessories, it comes with, of course, the trading card, Detective Comics number 27. And then it comes with four extra hands and then a wrench. And here's the back of the card if you want to read it. All right, so let us take a look at the figure itself. Now, uh, figure is cool. Uh, the, the, the cool thing about this figure is that right now he has cloth cape. This time around, he has cloth cape. Cloth cape. I'm not sure if this is going to happen to all the other Batman figures or is it just this one. But uh, it's very cool that he comes with a nice cloth cape. Kind of resemble the, um, the comic cover, actually. So that is nice. Let's see if we could even recreate that scene here. So it would have been something like that. Maybe like, no, it's all flaring, going upward. But I guess we cannot. So it would be something like that. Or something more like that. Yeah, the cape can go that far out. Can go that far outward without losing the bottom part portion of it. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. So that's cool. I like that. I like the fact that this one comes with a cloth cape. Hopefully, um, other ones will will do the same. Or, or moving forward, that all the uh, figure will come with a cloth cape. That will be that will be interesting because uh, we have gotten all the sculpted cape all this time. So it is a uh, a nice change of pace to have a cloth to have cloth capes now. And uh, the material is pretty nice too. Look at that. It's got a sheen to it and uh, it's not really see-through. So that's good. And it has wire running through it, running through the edge. So that is nice. So yeah, it's not a cheap cape. It's a pretty quality material too. So that is nice. I like that a lot. So uh, as far as the figure, um, here's a ball joint, but uh, somehow this thing is kind of loose on here. So there's that. And then his hands are purple. And then uh, shoulders, like usual. I mean, it's pretty much what you can expect with uh, all the other uh, McFarlane figures. There's nothing uh, new or nothing dynamic about uh, this figure at all. Yeah, it's, yeah, articulation-wise, it's exactly the same as all the other um, McFarlane toys figures, so you get the idea. It's just uh, this one has cloth cape, which is very nice, like that, so it can drape well. And then, if you so choose to, you can have him do some, give him some... Uh, heroic pose with the cape flowing nicely so it gives the figure a little more play value that's for sure put him back on the base for now yeah so there you have it not a whole lot more to say so let me get a closer look at him uh, and then end this video here so here's this uh, head sculpt Look at those ears, they're so, they're pretty long, and then the nose is so pointy too. Pointing downward, kind of resembled the uh, comic quite a bit, so that's good. And then the bat symbol, look at that. And then the belt, it's unusual. And then the rest of them. Yeah, look at that head sculpt. I think they did a really good job with this one. 
So let me show you a closer look at that cape. Look at that. Yeah, it's a pretty nice material. It's nice thick material and you can barely see through it. So yeah, good job uh, with the cape. So there you have it, there's Batman Detective Comics number 27 version from McFarland Toys and uh, thanks for watching.